What's up guys, Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. Today, I want to show you how to make a metal drawer for, well this will be for my welding table, but I guess you could use it for your office or your shop or whatever. I bought this, uh, what is this? This is a file cabinet, just a little small one, two drawer file cabinet. I paid six bucks for it. And I've already made this drawer out of it, which is coming super handy. I've got uh, a whole bunch of crap in there. But I've been keeping my uh, sockets and socket wrenches up here on the table. And I figured I could use the rest of this drawer for that instead. Keep it up out of the way. So, I figured I would take about 5 inches off of this whole side, that'll be my drawer. I pulled this out of my crawler a long time ago, it's got some uh, slides on it. Wood slides for like a, I don't know, kitchen drawer or something like that. And I was thinking about just putting this under there, but it's made out of wood. I figured it's probably not a good idea to have uh, anything made out of wood connected to my welding table. So we're going to reuse these slides though. Here's a little tip I learned a long time ago. When you're making your marks, let's say we were going to cut this at four inches, instead of just making a straight line like that, that can be misconstrued because you don't know whether it's this part or this part, which is off a little bit. So you always want to make a V. That way you know when you're making your straight line like this, you go right through the center of that V. I went ahead and cut this from the scrap. I can use that to finish this box off here. Just need to shorten it up a little bit. There. never welded anything this thin before, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out, but I assume I can just uh, clamp the two together and weld into it. It'll melt through the first piece into the second piece. If that doesn't work, I'll drill some little tiny holes. Let's give it a shot. It worked. Sweet.
All right, well, it's not super pretty, but I think it's gonna work anyway. Now we're just gonna weld this uh, slider on here. Now I've got some plastic here. I don't want to melt it, so the trick is to uh, air cool it after you uh, weld it. So let's see if we can do it. All right, so here's why I put those pieces of angle iron on the other uh, drawer. When I built the welding table, I have this piece of angle iron along the edge to hold everything together. When I put the drawer there, that tilts the back up. So to space that out, I just cut another piece of this same angle iron, a little tiny chunk of it, and that'll space out the back. So now, the new drawer, it's gonna go right there. It's heavy though. So I need to find a way to hold it up. Alright, check it out. That's my little logo if you didn't notice. And also the handle. Inside here I was able to consolidate that huge husky plastic toolbox that was a nightmare to open into this one drawer. I know not much of a feat, but at least it's all laid out where I can see everything without having to go dig through a bunch of toolbox drawers and whatnot. Just one drawer. I can see all of my sockets. I've got the deep wells and the regular sockets. And if I don't like it for that purpose, I can pull this out and put something else in here. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Hit the uh, thumbs up and the subscribe button. Check out the Bleepin' Jeep store, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.